and it literally looks like it looks like an atomic bomb went off here. 321 miles per hour. Please get down now. Faster than a Formula One car at top speed. This was the recorded wind speed of the 1999 Bridge Creek Moor tornado, one of the most powerful and destructive storms in recorded history. On May 3rd, 1999, this monstrous tornado tore through Oklahoma, leaving a trail of devastation in its path. Homes were shredded, cars tossed in the air, and lives forever changed. The sheer force of 321 miles per hour winds is almost unimaginable, capable of ripping the very ground beneath your feet. For those who witnessed it, the Bridge Creek Moor tornado was not just a storm. It was a nightmare come to life. The day started relatively normal, with warm temperatures and partly cloudy skies. The atmosphere was humid and there was a slight breeze. At the beginning of the day, the region was issued a slight risk, the lowest level of the three. It was a typical day in Oklahoma, yet beneath the surface, nature was orchestrating one of the most powerful storms ever recorded. Meteorologists were closely monitoring the weather patterns that day, recognizing the initial signs of impending disaster. Warm, moist air surged northward from the Gulf of Mexico, meeting cold, dry air descending from the Rockies. This clash created extreme instability in the atmosphere, a key ingredient for severe thunderstorms. Adding to the tension is something called wind shear, which is winds that change speed and direction over a short distance. This wind shear provided the necessary rotation for storms to organize into supercells, the type of thunderstorm most likely to create tornadoes. As the skies continued to show signs of instability, the Storm Prediction Center increased their severe weather risk level to moderate. In the afternoon, the first thunderstorms began to develop in southwestern Oklahoma. The initial storms are closely monitored by the National Weather Service and local meteorologists. And during this time, they became aware of a disturbing fact. They measured something called the convective available potential energy of the atmosphere, basically measuring how much energy these storms have access to. And they got values exceeding 4,000 joules per kilogram. To put this in perspective, values reaching 1,000 joules per kilogram have enough energy to form thunderstorms, and values around 2,500 joules per kilogram are associated with severe thunderstorms. When they realized the energy potential of this storm to be over 4,000 joules per kilogram, they instantly knew the potential for an explosive storm was undeniable. And quickly after this, the Storm Prediction Center upgraded their severe weather outlook to high, the most dangerous category. It was clear that the ingredients for a deadly storm were all present. Weather models had flagged the area as high risk, predicting not just any tornado, but one that could unleash devastating power. But despite the advanced warnings, the sheer magnitude of this storm exceeded all expectations, setting the stage for one of nature's most terrifying displays of force. Meteorologists noticed a powerful supercell developed southwest of Lawton, a city in Oklahoma. The supercell began moving northeast and quickly intensified. In response to this, at 3.49 p.m., the National Weather Service issued a tornado watch for central Oklahoma. The supercell continues onward and passes by Chickasha. The rotation of the supercell begins to intensify, and the storm creates something called a hook echo. This is a direct sign that the supercell is capable of producing a violent tornado. And as the storm continues to intensify, residents in its path are urged by the National Weather Service to seek shelter. During this time, these citizens were unaware that they were about to face the most violent tornado in history. 
Within the heart of the supercell, powerful updrafts of warm, moist air begin to spiral, forming a rotating column known as a mesocyclone. A funnel cloud begins to descend from the base of the storm, reaching towards the ground. And at 6.32 p.m., a tornado touches down. Instantly, this tornado begins to grow stronger and larger, going from an EF-0 to an EF-4 within minutes, quickly becoming what's known as a wedge tornado, which refers to tornadoes that are wider than they are tall. While analyzing the storm, meteorologists begin to recognize a horrifying truth. This massive tornado wasn't just wandering across an open field. It was on a direct path toward the small community of Bridge Creek, a place where over 7,000 people call home. Residents only had minutes to seek shelter as the tornado, now over a mile wide, barreled towards them. Then it struck. In an instant, the peaceful community was engulfed in chaos. The tornado was now considered an EF-5, the most powerful type. It ravaged through the town with unimaginable force. Homes were torn from their foundation, trees uprooted, and the highest recorded wind speeds ever on Earth occurred during this time. The damage was extreme. 12 people died within Bridge Creek, and around 200 homes were destroyed and photos illustrating the aftermath reveal homes completely wiped off their foundation, like they were never there in the first place. Cars were hurled hundreds of yards, including this mangled pickup truck discovered twisted around a telephone pole. This photo by itself puts into perspective just how violent this tornado really was. And it wasn't over yet. After destroying the town of Bridge Creek, the tornado ravaged onward towards a much more densely populated area, the city of Moore, Oklahoma. Meteorologists quickly noticed this and they did something they have never done before. They declared the first ever tornado emergency. Science and Operations Officer David Andra said, We used the phrase tornado emergency to paint the picture that a rare and deadly tornado was imminent in the metro area. We hoped that such dire phrases would prompt action from anyone that still had questions about what was about to happen. But for many, it was already too late. The tornado was seconds away from hitting more. What was a thriving community was now about to experience nature's most violent force. The tornado devastates the southern and western parts of Moore. The destruction is extensive. Neighborhoods are obliterated, schools and businesses are destroyed, and the landscape is littered with debris. The tornado's path through Moore leaves a swath of destruction over a mile wide. In a matter of moments, entire communities are erased. Families huddled in basements and storm shelters, listening helplessly as their homes were torn apart above them. By 7.10 p.m., the tornado had left more behind and continued its destructive path, crossing over a major highway and tragically killing a woman who was sheltering in an underpass with her 11-year-old son. The tornado's path then crossed through southern Oklahoma City and Dell City, causing extensive damage. Here, a railroad car weighing 36,000 pounds was thrown three quarters of a mile by the extreme winds. The tornado then weakens to an EF-2, and right before it makes a direct hit over Tinker Air Force Base, the tornado lifts. All that's left behind is devastation and destruction. Emergency services respond immediately, but the scale of the destruction is overwhelming. In Bridge Creek, Moore, and parts of Oklahoma City, thousands of homes and businesses have been destroyed. Entire communities are left in ruins, with 36 people losing their lives and over 600 injured. 
Footage from just after the tornado hit shows cars scattered across a field. These cars were driving on I-40, the highway right below. And using Google Earth, I was able to track down this location and I wanted to figure out how far the furthest away car was thrown. Using Google Earth's measuring tool, I got roughly 150 meters, which is longer than a football field. The tornado's legacy is one of immense destruction, with damage estimates exceeding $1 billion, 1.8 adjusted for today's inflation. Families emerged from storm shelters and basements to find their homes completely gone. People were trapped under debris, and news coverage minutes after the tornado hit shows somebody trapped under a collapsed house, flashing a light at the news helicopter. Probably lose a signal here in a minute. We believe we got somebody flashing a flashlight that is trapped in this rubble right here. Dan, they've been flashing a flashlight at us. We're going to drop low. You're probably in the days immediately following the tornado, cleanup efforts began. Heavy machinery was brought in to clear the streets, remove debris, and search for survivors. It took weeks to clear the debris, with volunteers, construction workers, and government agencies working side by side. The piles of rubble were hauled away, leaving vast empty spaces where homes and businesses once stood. But despite the overwhelming destruction, the community of Moore showed incredible resilience. Residents helped each other recover what little they could from the wreckage. Schools reopened within weeks, even as some were using temporary buildings and classrooms. Local businesses began rebuilding, with the community rallying to support one another in the process. The tornado that struck Bridge Creek and Moore on May 3, 1999, left a scar on the land and the lives of those who survived it. In just a few short hours, nature unleashed a force of unimaginable destruction. The winds that tore through this community reached over 318 miles per hour, the strongest ever recorded on Earth. They even had to make a new tornado rating scale, as this tornado was stronger than the strongest category of the last one. But even in the midst of such overwhelming devastation, the people of Bridge Creek, Moore, and Oklahoma did not give up. As the storm cleared and the sun rose over the broken streets, the community came together. Neighbors became rescuers, strangers became supporters, and families began the long, hard journey to rebuild. Not just homes, but lives. This tornado left its mark on the land, but the spirit of the community endures. Proof that no force, no matter how powerful, is stronger than humanity.